that's not a much of a discussion. Are dogs more important than people? I like it. Yes. I like it a lot. So, well, we're going to start but, recording then so people can be part of it. Are dogs more important than people? And there you go. Yeah. And the, no, but there's no discussion. The intro, we all agree that there's dogs are more important than people. So There you go. Adam, how you doing? Vicky is live from Hello, Korea. guys. From North Korea. Hello, North Korea. No, there's, live, there's electricity, <laughs> so you know I'm not in North Korea. I'm in South. She's, she's in South Korea. I was just joking. <laughs> Steven <laughs> does not understand the, the, the division, so. I, I do. I do understand the division, <laughs> but I'm just thinking the secret police will grab her while we're live on the air, and that will be, yeah, that would be like, you know, that would be huge. That'll be like, they're really gonna be like, oh, this is great. Look what happened. That'll get like 5 million views. And yesterday she put up a baseball um, video, which is really cool. Um, and she showed the picture of the cheerleaders, which lasted about a second. I like more cheerleaders because they get about 5 million views. The Korean cheerleaders, they make real money. And all they do is, yeah, this. that's all they do. Yeah. Yeah. Vicky, Vicky, tell us, yes, tell us, where are you? Where are you now? What What's there behind you? Hold on one second. Before you do that, we're going to do this. Hold on, Vicky. Okay. This is 2OF entertainment officially so vicky where are you tell us tell every tell the fan where we are um, i know it's really loud because the motorcycle just went by but this is cool mapuku actually if you know what that is and there we go there you go we're in korea the river is that way um right. and it's supposed to rain it's supposed to rain at any time so i might run underneath <laughs> here <laughs> so if it gets dark all of a sudden you know no I'm hiding, too. I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean, if you if you were in if you were in Belgium, you'd have be K three because they're the biggest girl band going still. <laughs> They've been going since my kids were small. Yeah, if you look behind you, it says K two. K two, yeah. Yeah, but what yeah, was the B B B three? No, K three. K three is. K oh, K three. Oh, K3 okay, that makes sense. It's the big girl Maybe band go in Holland. They go get their haircut here first. Ah. Yeah. So okay. so the topic we started with this morning, we thought while we were waiting ah. for Adam was, are dogs more important than people? What do you think dogs. about that one, Adam? Dog, dog, ruff, ruff, right, ruff, yeah. ruff, or ruff, ruff, a scooby doo No, more we people. are all, we are, we are, everything is important. Yeah, I think dogs are more important than people. <laughs> no, <laughs> everything is important. Dogs are important. Uh, uh, dogs, people without dogs are not the same people. Yes, because they help sure. us a lot at least yeah. in some lives they have a lot and yeah. the opposite of course the dogs wouldn't be the same without the people because they have uh, created a relationship with us yeah. and their survival and also, depends the, on on how the they live with us it's on the planet as well dog poo is the, one of the biggest things that's polluting the planet so uh really dog poo yeah dog poo. that no. dog poo. I thought it was cow. I thought it was cow manure. Oh, cow, too. <laughs> yeah. Cow, yeah. Dogs, dogs but cows also here. fart. That's why. A yeah, lot. And, yeah, but it's actually, and they yeah, farted. It's the nitrogen. It's this nitrogen, sour nitrogen that they, that they have in the dog poop, which is very, very bad for the environment. I know that because I live in a in an area. We've got woods just out the, up to the side of me here, and we live in dog country. So between the dogs and the horses, um, there's a lot of poo on the streets. Only they don't, they pick up, the, they should pick up the dog poo with the special dog poo pick up bags. Which, do you do, you do that? Do you pick up your dog poo, Adam? Or, uh... I pick up my dog poo with a bag. Uh, no, uh, here in, in the countryside, I don't have to. Oh my God. Oh, okay. <laughs> in, in Austin, we Texas, for all, for all its liberalness, 
you pick up your dog. Well, I see I'm from New York, so we picked up our dog poo back in the 60s before it was fashionable. Yeah, um, smoked it. Uh, yeah. And, <laughs> and no, we would pick it up with just kind of with a, you still picked it up with some sort of a bag and threw it away or however you did it, didn't yeah. matter. And then I've always done that. In fact, my dog was pooping the other day and some guy was watching me and I was like, can I help you? Because he was pooping on his lawn, of course. And I, meanwhile, my bag is out. It's in my hand. And he's just watching. And I pick up because I just wanted to make sure you were going to do that. And I literally said to him, what do you think? I'm 14 fucking years old. And he looked at me. I go, I'm an adult. I have a dog. I know what I'm doing. And he's like, okay, okay, okay. He's like, he was like almost embarrassed. I'm like, Fuck. Like, tell, you know. me, tell me something about picking up dog poo, right? Because, I mean, is it is it like... Because it's still warm, I take it when you pick it no, up. No, it's the best. The best. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's like a mud so pack. Like, you just love it. You run around and go, wow. Yeah. Um, no, you know what's really cool? When I had a Great Dane, that you want to talk about picking up dog poo? That's like picking up a city. Like you yeah. go, you know, the little doggy bags that you buy, you know, you, the orange or greens or blacks that you pick up dog poo with. When you have a Great Dane. Are they racist, you, the bags? Or yes, they rip, they rip. Bags are very racist, especially the orange okay. ones. Anyway, but yeah. when you pick up Great Dane dog poo, it is a workout. Because literally after you pick it up, you have to schlep this 95 pounds of poo to the garbage can. And uh, you're exhausted for the day. So, yeah, when my great game would go to the bathroom, I was like, oh, my God. So, yeah, huge. Yeah, well, outside of our house here is a bicycle path, but it's also uh, the horses are allowed. They still they, they own the streets as they – Okay. They never, they never change the laws, of course. So regularly when you come out of the house – there's some form of, you know, present waiting out there. Gotcha. And, um, sometimes the, 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 the horse poo is, is stacked so high they put a flag in it because somebody's climbed. Oh, nice. You know, so. Wow. Uh, but, I mean, years ago, I mean, when I was, when I was you know, seven or eight, my, my grandmother would go outside and go outside and go out there with a shovel. Oh, I have that for my rosary. Yeah, it's just, it's just, just birds. The crows love it. They pick all the straw and seeds oh. and everything out of it. But, uh, yeah. But they, they need that, though, right? Isn't that their thing? They need that? The crows need it to build their nests yeah. and get nutrients? Yeah. And stuff. Do, you, do you listen to the sound as, as coming from Korea? They're like alien noises. You sing. You hear it? No, it's, no, we can't hear anything, Adam. I don't know about you. We're, we're okay. Yeah, we hear all it right. in the background. But unfortunately, I think it's Adam's headset. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it can be the headset. It's very good. It's uh, better now. Yeah. Well, well, you know, noises in noises no, no, no. in the head. A lot of artists suffer from yeah. that later on in their career. <laughs> we, gotta, we have a we have a we have a weird thing. We are we're getting because we're we're broadcasting live from North Korea. Um, I think it's there. They're sending you know the sound waves there. You know what's really funny? Everybody that's watching this. That we keep saying we're broadcasting live from North Korea. You know, like between the CIA, the NSA, M5, M6, and all these government agencies are like, what? North Korea? Yeah, you keep yeah. saying Somebody's, it enough times. Yeah. Somebody is so. making it up. I just so. said that I see that Dawn's with us again. So, hi, Dawn. We've got to yeah. say hello to her. I, sh I already said good morning. Yeah, Dawn's our you biggest. You say morning, fan. Dawn, but there's a Dawn every morning, Stephen. That's not pretty uh, funny. Okay. That's Dawn all the time somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I think I'm going to change the title. I, I have the title of the show for the audience that says um, Adams talks about why dogs are more important than humans or whatever. I may just say live from North Korea and see that's just clickbait, but that could be very good yeah. clickbait. I think I'm going to do that. So because <laughs> Vicky's technically yeah. in Korea. No, you know, uh, the title is not live, alive, alive in Korea. Oh, and you will not Korea, and you will not say north or south uh, alive in korea they will understand that it's uh, north korea for sure how can you be okay. alive there <laughs> so so vicky tell us which what secret mission are you on tomorrow morning when you get up oh sorry yeah. what are you doing tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> i mean technically i'm in the vicky, north you better not, you better not talk too much okay you're in the know, north right? or the south are okay. you in the north or the I'm south is that south. what you're saying so um, yeah, so I'm kind of north anyway. There you go. Right? Yeah. So you see, fine. she's north. It's true. Walk on, walk on the north. Tomorrow no, it depends on how, how north she will go later. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, she's just... Are the police trying to drag you away, Vic? Is that what you get yeah. told to do? Because you know what's, what's, what's northern than uh, North Korea? Russia. China. China. 
China. No, China, China is on the on the west. Northern, northern well, than uh, 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 North Korea is uh, Russia. Ah, and so okay, it, it might be also Missile China. Boy, that's why Missile Boy gets on the train then. When he, when he goes that's right, because he can go. Yeah, from, from sending, North Korea, you can you can go everywhere. Have, Mickey, yeah, have you been up there? Have you, have you been? I know, right? Have you been to the thirty eighth parallel? Have you been up there as it's like a tourist or no? No. Are you planning so, on going? Um, my friend went. And really enjoyed okay. it, but then the stupid American decided to suspect. I don't know if you guys saw that the former American soldier who was going to get sent to jail as soon as he got home decided he was going to yeah. run across the border. And oh. so ever since then, they've like really tightened it up and they've closed a lot of it off now. So there's really gotcha. no point in going up there because you can't get too much at the moment because yeah, you know, tensions gotcha. are. But if you, paint, right you paint, if you paint your face mm -hmm. orange and just you know get up there and shout out Mr. Boy, he'll come out. He'll think, he'll, think you're, he'll think you're the former president of the, of the United States and come out and say hi to you. I mean, he might. I mean, you know, if his eyesight's really bad, I you know, this could be a possibility. Yeah. 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 But here's my here's a que here's a question though. For you. So this the so the service guy ran across the border, but doesn't mm -hmm. when somebody defect. To North Korea from the West or whatever we are considered, don't they celebrate that? And they make him like the post. Like there's a guy in the fifties that did it, and he was like the poster child forever for the North. He's on sixty right. minutes once with an inter Do they make him a poster child, or are they literally just going to take him out back and shoot him like a horse? Um, they sent him back because he was oh, such an idiot that they didn't even want him. So. Wow. Okay. <laughs> And he did. That's and he didn't play bad. basketball, probably. So he was. Uh, no he didn't play basketball. He wasn't doesn't run Dennis Rodman. So yeah. They, yeah. There's, a, there's a guy in the fifties or sixties that defected. Um, mm. he married a North Korean. He lived in North Korea. Um, in and, North uh, Korea. Yeah. No, he defected from the U.S. to there. Um, over the thirty eight. Oh. And I remember he he was it was on sixty minutes, maybe fifteen twenty years ago, because he was now in his seventies or eighties. Um. And they were going, how is it? Like, you know, you, you were an American. You did, he goes, I just like their politics better. And, the, and they treated him, I don't want to say like royalty. He wasn't like living in a suite, but he had a nice home or an apartment. He had a, a wife and children. I was like, well, that's interesting. And, you know, he was whatever. And I was like, okay, interesting. So, I mean, you know, their propaganda is halfway decent. I don't know what it is today with Missile Boy and his sister. Um, I fear his sister more than Missile Boy, just so, just so we're clear. Yeah, his Same. sister... I read stuff on her. She, yeah. I'm like, oh, you look, you're like, you're like, oh, cute little, cute little Asian girl. And then when you read about her, I'm like, yeah, not so cute. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. Like, yeah. It's so. like that Colonel, that Colonel in the James Bond movies with from. I forget which was she the KTB, but she had the knife blade in her in the toe of her shoe. You remember yeah, her? Yeah. She was like, yeah. She was stabbed. You remind yeah. me of her. Yeah. No, yeah, it's one of those. Okay. One of those sort of ladies that when she puts her arm around your shoulder, it's not out of affection. It's just yeah. looking for the right soft spot to stick the knife in. You know what I mean? Right. So, right. Exactly. She's eating the dogs. She's not eating. Oh. Stop it. She's not eating. <laughs> the dogs. No, she's, not, she's not eating the dogs. She's. She, she, they've already eaten the dogs. Oh, the cats yes. Now. Yes. Everybody who's Only out there. Only cats are left now. Here. Yeah, yeah, it is but now. If, if there are any dogs, dogs left, wait, 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 wait. Vicky's, Vicky, Vicky's trying to tell us something about Korea, about dogs and cats. So hold on, go on, Vicky. Now, it's now technically illegal to ah. eat dog in South Korea. So everyone that thinks that we still eat dog over here it is illegal and it does not happen. Okay. So just so everybody knows. That, but, it, but we all know it happens underground, right? right. <laughs> When if it's illegal, if it's like illegal, it must be happening. No, no. When did, yeah. it, when did it change? When did it change? They made it. If it's illegal, it means it's more expensive. <laughs> this year. Oh wow! This okay. year. Oh, okay. okay. They still, they still eat it. No, they, I, I said. Did you see? Did you see the guy? The guy behind it, behind her. He was he eating a dog. dog. He was yes. not eating a dog. She was eating a rocky. I thought it was called right. Rocky. <laughs> I, I will tell, I tell you, you that when the Olympics were in China, there were signs at restaurants that said, please do not feed the tourists a uh, dog or cat. And it was in Chinese, not in English. And somebody took a picture and it was like, oh, that's good to know. So I was like, that's, that's Don't feed nice. them because you eat them. <laughs> right. 
So that's funny though. In Korea, in South Korea, let me make sure. Um, in South Korea, people now are, are not eating. Um, yeah, dogs, dogs, dogs and cats. Yeah. Okay, but but There's poops, poops of the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe yeah, it'll be the next thing. The, the, I don't the, 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 the see the dog poop anywhere. Yeah. Um, there's no dog poop. You see, the but you don't see any dogs, also. So you see. No, we do. You see, <laughs> They're eating the dogs. They're eating no. the pets. <laughs> no, this happens in Springfield, I think, in USA. Yeah, exactly. Yes. That's in America where we eat our dogs. <laughs> okay. We don't do that. I mix the I mix the countries. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Ask to add Trump. Okay. Um, but now you'll actually see more bait more dogs than baby strollers here than babies. You think you were saying before we went live that in South Korea. There are dog stores like every other, like a Starbucks on every other corner that you can buy leather yeah. outfits for them. This out, it's like you could go shopping for dogs. Yeah. They that's they before, love their dogs. Or they have them. more dogs now than children. Yeah, because the women aren't getting married and having kids here. They have a, a shortage, a population decline, and really? people are choosing to have pets. Is that why? Is that why you've gone to Korea to help them out, or? <laughs> I, no, it's the other way. <laughs> that's, can only bear that's a secret operation. So you, Kishi, cannot oh, speak about it. Yeah. That factory is closed, my friend. No, um, but yeah, it's, <laughs> so people will wheel their their dogs around in their um, and terriers and things. Because they're all little things. Well, this is this yeah. is interesting. So the South Korean women need babies. Well, here's three men right here, ladies. We're on our way. We'll take care of it. Yeah, yeah, you're. Yeah, no. Yeah. You're the I'll wrong right. you're the wrong uh, wrong flavor. They they would prefer a Korean man, so unless you got some hidden. Oh, all this all this oh. Guy, did, you, did you read about him? He's got about ten thousand kids or something. It's amazing. A sperm Elon guy. Musk? One of the sperm one of, no, a sperm yeah. the guy who did telco, telcom or whatever it's yeah. called. Um uh, Telegram. The app Telegram has donated so much sperm he thinks he's he's literally given birth to five or five thousand or ten thousand children. That's what he's talking oh, about. Oh, I hope he's got a lot of money. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know, no. you're a sperm donor. Some sperm donor, I read this, there was an article, I think it was in the Times, and it was talking about, New York Times, about him with this. And basically what happened was, is he donated sperm, but he donates it like every other week. So what's happening is some sperm places don't let you do it like only once a year or once every five, whatever it is. But where he goes, it's like every other day. So... He figures, and the sperm place has said, we figure you've given birth, you know, your sperm is in like five or 10,000 children. Yeah. I'm thinking to myself, what are you, gay as the hill of the hunt? That's crazy. Yeah, it's the, same, it's the same as the Dutch guy here as well. You know, there's, a, there's a thing on Netflix, a program about him uh, that, uh, that I've never been watching. And you know, it, 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 there is a phenomenal amount uh, to, to, the, to the extent that um, statistically in the areas where he's been very active and the people are, uh, been, act, been going to particular uh, sperm banks that right. there's a really high chance that you know that the kids at a crash are half brothers and half sisters you know and he, and he's, been all over, he's, he's been he's been all <laughs> over the world this guy wow and, uh, it's gonna be like the south where they're just marrying their cousins without knowing it or with, that's with knowing awesome. it. Well, yeah. well, in the South, they do know it, and apparently it's legal. So that's why they have children with three eyes and seven toes. That's uh, the way it works. That answers so, why the world has becoming a mud place. So, hey, Vicky, you're, you, yeah, since yeah. you're in Korea, and now they don't eat dogs, which is a good thing. Um, and we were just joking, everybody. Vicky, really, I said in the title, we're live from North Korea. And then I, underneath, I wrote, just joking, Vicky, Julie in South Korea. Or is she? Could be a fake background. Anyway, um, the secret police will be there momentarily. Just stay there. Um, what is that? What is the Korean perception now on the U.S. election that's coming up? What do they say other than they probably roll their eyes and think we're the dumbest country on the planet? Well, yeah. I mean, I, <laughs> I'm not super, super politically tied in over here, but they obviously want Harris because, you know, Trump the other You're day. Asking her like she's a reporter. She <laughs> is. She's our reporter on the ground. He said the other day something stupid about like um, they're going to start paying for our, the military that they want there. Or we're going to, you know, that that whole rhetoric again about how South Korea is a, a, a cash cash machine and that right. he's going to start charging them to, to have troops oh, here oh, and all that yeah. kind of shit. And of course, that's the best time to be saying that when North Korea is. Um, 
being active and, and that kind of stuff. So obviously they are hoping for Harris to win because, and I can just see all the comments now and all the a-holes that love to <laughs> watch this and telling me what an idiot I am and how awful well, it is I, and all that kind of stuff. But I, well, that's I, the people they, that, they want Harris to win. Yeah, well, the people that would say that are people that don't read. Um, because mm. to your point of earlier, I, I think you said this while we were on the air, that North Korea is having a lot of troop movement. So is China and Russia and everybody. And I think they're all yeah. just planning on Trump. If Trump wins, you know, on January, yeah, whatever, whatever, when he gets sworn in, mm. I think they're just planning on rolling in yep. to wherever. You know, his comment. Yeah. We don't think, Ukraine, this, you don't think it's the food then, because they've got bad food in North Korea. So that mm. might affect, that might affect. They have no food, food, David. They have no they have food. food. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that will affect your troop, your you know your troop movement, won't it? If you you have a bad diet, so um, yeah, that's probably what it is. Bad food affects your diet. And your movements. Probably more bowel movements. I think, than I, I think I think what they're going to do now, obviously the Koreans, North Koreans are watching this show, and they've now realised that you know balloons with dog poo is not the way to go. What are they doing now? Yeah. Just to really, really, really piss off the South Koreans is to start ballooning dogs in. You know, big all these balloons coming with dogs on the bottom have with eat me. They probably like them. that actually. Yeah, they they rescue all the dogs. They probably like that down here. If there's any if uh, there's of course if there's any dogs left in North Korea if they haven't already eaten them and the cats. Oh. It's, uh, maybe yeah. it's, maybe it's, maybe it's the baby. They're eating the dogs. They're eating the cats. <laughs> is it? Are they North Koreans? Are they North Koreans in Springfield? Is that what it is? Yes. Not hate, no, no. She's in Springfield, North Korea. Yeah. Springfield, Springfield, North Korea. Yeah, <laughs> you know what's really funny? The city mayor or the city you know, controller of the city of Springfield said that there are no police reports that uh, any dogs or cats are being eaten at all. And then, oh, really? Out, really? There's no, like they said, that's all, <laughs> that's just make, that's BS. You... And, and then they said, and Bloomberg put out an article yesterday that said um, that um, immigrants don't cause any more, any less crimes than people that are in America. Like the prison population actually since 2020 has gone down. Crime's gone down, and when they did a uh, U.S. statistical look at it, the immigrants were no worse or no better. No, no, those are uh, those might be actual facts, but it's also a yeah. narrative. But the other narrative that it's bad, guys, it's bad. Look, for everything in your life that is going on, the bad mm -hmm. thing is that there are immigrants or uh, I don't know. Well, immigrants have and nothing they, to do with they, in our they life. believe and they believe this narrative, you know. Well, that's true. Well, the other thing they believe this narrative, and that's it. Obesity is going down in the U.S. as well. That's because they've eaten all the dogs and all the cats. So there's no more Kentucky. <laughs> there's no more Kentucky Fried Dog or Kentucky. <laughs> no. Fried Dog, you know. So um, well, we're we're actually, 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 immigrants immigrants have been shown to commit less crime because they try yeah. to. They don't want to be deported yeah. or to be. Well, if they live in less trouble than regular folks, so yeah, I get that. And they're less likely to report crime as well against them because they also don't want to get involved, and that's a shame too. Because yeah, you know, they're well, because afraid. They're afraid. Of, yeah, they're yeah. afraid. It's, I understand. It's like, yeah, it's kind of like being black in America. And I mean, even today, um, if you speak, I have friends of color, and if you speak to them, they will tell you when they get pulled over. They put their like their hands on the like you know when a white person gets pulled over it's like you see these videos like, what do you want for you really a black person gets pulled over their hands are on the steel like yes officer no officer like they're still afraid of being shot there's a very mm -hmm. famous actor um and he told the story about two or three years ago he got pulled over in atlanta georgia um going from i guess tyler perry's studio to his hotel um and he and i mean like i can see his face i can't remember his name i wish i could but he said when he got pulled over, he was in the car um, with one of his children. And he said to his, I guess his son or his daughter, he goes, put your hand on the dashboard. He goes, what, dad? He goes, put your hand on the dashboard. And he put his hands on the steering wheel. He goes, yes, officer. How may I? And he said, the whole interaction, he said, I was worried about being shot. And I'm thinking, that's a terrible way to go through life. You know what I mean? Yeah, so of course. That's, that's like ridiculous. So when someone makes a statement that they're eating the dogs and cats, 
and you get people that are ignorant that don't read the newspaper or want to believe, I don't know, facts. Um, that's very bad. And then Bloomberg's narrative. Now, Bloomberg, it was not done by Bloomberg. It was done by three or four national organizations that kind of looked at crime statistics from 2020 to now. And they were like, no, not that's like they literally I saw my I put it on my LinkedIn, but it's it's literally just debunked it all. And it was like, no, they don't cause more crimes. They don't do this. They don't do that. But, but, but it's like that's just. Red but red. It, it's, yeah, it's but it doesn't it doesn't fit the narrative. So they put in a, yes. a, a new narrative that fits right. to the minds of those people in their yeah. you know well, resolution of the world, and it works. Well, it works. And, then, and Mr. Trump the other day said that Harris was a shitty vice president. I mean, like that made news on Saturday. It was in the Financial Times, the Wall Street. Everybody's been like, "Oh my God." And, I'm, and and one of the articles was like, is Trump just losing it or he doesn't care anymore or he thinks he's invulnerable? Um, and, I th and really, because the Democrats aren't doing anything to combat him, I think he's just going through. I'm no, I'm going to win. I can do. He's, he's almost right. He could shoot somebody on Fifth Avenue and nobody would care. I think well, that's the win. point we are. He's going to win anyway, even if he loses it, even if he loses at the poll. Because all he wants to be is in the center of center of everybody's attention. Everybody's talking about him, even people like me who really couldn't give a monkey's. But we still ended yeah. up talking about him. And so, you know, he's a very, very, very disturbed and a very dangerous man. And that said goodbye to my green card. But you know, that's <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it's. Uh, but the, the the general census of opinion here in Holland, anyway, is and also in the UK. Well, so I can ascertain is that he he will win, yeah. That um, big because Harris doesn't seem to be anybody, and no. Trump seems to be somebody, and it may be as simple as that. Because you know the swing states are such that people just say, "Well, I don't really know who is she," you know. And and the, and the most disturbing thing is is that Obama has to go to states where which are predominantly uh, um, populated by people with color. Yeah. And and say to, say to them, it's okay to vote for a woman of color, right? Because they don't want some. Because their their culture is such that hey, the man's the man and the woman's the woman, and I'm not going to be bossed around by a woman. And that may be that may be quite fundamental as well to American politics, regardless of her of her color. It may be the fact that she's a woman, and that Americans, all of you, are maybe not up to, for having a woman. As a prime minister or a president, we're not we're we're not as woke as we think we are. Listen, they should have elected the lesbian in 2016, you know, Hillary, um, because we would have had a man in the White House, Hillary. She she listen, let's whether you're a lesbian or not, Hillary, you would have been for the election. She could have converted to Judaism, and then we would have covered it all, and we would be done with this. But no, I think America is still very much men are men. And then what's really funny is we're all woke, and we don't want to, enough of this woke shit. We're not woke. We're a bunch of pansies. Let's stop with this crap. And, you know, and unfortunately, next year, when there's no democracy, you're not going to be woke. You'll be goose stepping. And that's it. And it is what it is. Like I've already said, I, I said last week on Lost Dollar Business Club, we had guys standing on um, The Economist and we were talking about this. And I said to him, I'm already in my mind, Trump's president. I don't think Harris is going to do anything unless Trump does something outrageous in the next 10 days. Harris is going to lose. The Democrats aren't doing anything to put her forward. Um, she's not saying anything about policy. She's not doing anything. And all Trump is saying is the immigrants are killing the dog, eating the dogs. They're committing crimes. <laughs> they're this. It's not, there's not one thing he says Bullshit that's true. Things. And it doesn't matter. And now he's got Elon Musk paying people a million dollars or whatever to sign up to vote in Pennsylvania. And he wants Musk oh, to Oh, no, 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 no. He's not, uh, he's not paying them to sign up and vote because that's illegal, Stephen. Oh, he's what's he paying doing? them. He's paying them to register yeah, for information for me now on, on his platform. He's paying them to register so that so that their name can be included on a list that could yeah. be potentially used by because you could buy names, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, to be used yeah. so that so that people from the from the uh, Republican Party could contact him. If not, Mr. Musk would be, you know, doing something illegal like buying votes, and God forbid that that would ever happen. So he's wow. not doing it. He's 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 found a way of sailing the mm. uh, in between uh, the yeah. lines. Well, and like I said, Mr. Trump looks like he's going to be president. So I guess we'll have to start, uh, you know, yeah. all cheering. I mean, I, I said it. 
if he wins, I wasn't going to come home. I was going to apply for political asylum and stay here. But if the missiles start getting launched over the border, maybe I don't want to be here either. <laughs> um, yeah, well, that's probably the best true. place to be because you'll go first then. You don't have yeah, to worry about it. Ground zero. Yeah. yeah. Wow. But what that's about the Koreans then? Are they woke? Are Korean people, South Korean people woke? woke? Not right now. They're sleeping. It's 10 o'clock at night. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 um, you know where your children are? Um, yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's all it's all relative. It's like the U.S. Some are and some aren't. You know, the U.S. is like a tale of three countries. There's the West Coast, the East Coast, and the Middle Coast, and I mean, the Middle Coast, the Middle section, and and they're they're different countries. And I think people from smaller countries have a hard time understanding just how big we are and how different. And there's there's no way you can really get Americans to agree on every, anything. Since, right. I don't know World War II probably right. because we're just a massive population and and land mass that it's it's I mean it's, the state to see that I live in is bigger than France just our state so you know yeah Americans aren't woke we're gonna vote for Trump or we're not ready for a woman that's true but for so many of us it's not true so it's so hard to lump everybody in with the the same recipe because. I think that's the same here. There's a lot of bad stuff going on here with misogynistic, you know, these, these deep fake stuffs going on. And there's, you know, this one K-pop idol that's up for rape and all this kind of stuff. But there's also really, you know, amazing. They've had a woman president. We have it. They had one yeah. before us. So, you know, there's a, a gamut. They're on the gamut. But actually, all right, there's a bug. <laughs> On a motorcycle. Sorry, it's like welcome, welcome to Korea things. Live. So, <laughs> Korean bugs. well, let me say the North, Koreans the, North are doing a, the North Koreans are doing a great job to make it look like South Korea for you. <laughs> I think that's very nice. Kudos to them. Um, so I'm very proud that they were nice enough to do this for you with a fake background and city. That's really yeah. good. Keep the power. I want to show, but, but Stephen, what what are you worried the most about Trump actually being president? My my fear is. The things that he yeah. said, because I actually read and listen to, I like, I watched him on his economic reviews and I, I listen to what he says. My, my fear is if he does his political witch hunt where he wants to jail all his political opponents. My fear is if he takes the government and weaponizes against people that like, just say like a guy like Bill Maher, John Oliver, these comics that make fun of him. Is he going to weaponize mm -hmm. the government? Like it's going to be, you, you won't have that where you can make fun of your leaders anymore. My concern is that he's going to take democracy away. So I will say this. Um, I'm, I listen to his policies. If I take away all the rhetoric um, and even the tariff crap, because the American public doesn't understand what a tariff really is. But some of the things that he does do, I'm like, you know, that's right. That's what a president should do. Other things that he says, I get very worried about because it's like, you know, democracy is going to crumble and we may never have another election. So he'll be our monarch or he'll be our oligarch like a Putin. So those are the things I but how about. how it, can this happen you know Russia is like this for uh, uh, centuries they don't yeah, they didn't the, have the, democracy but right, but here's the problem in 2020 when he when he lost supposedly he never conceded the election right he said it was stolen from him so if he loses this election he's going to say once again it was stolen fake news we're going to go through all this crap Instead of, I would have respected him much more if he would have said, listen, I lost, I'm going to run in 2024. But what he did is he kept this narrative up of everyone's against me. It's fake news. They're going to try to screw America, blah, 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 blah. And everyone's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And if it's, that's fine. But then if you, don't, because these people don't know history, if you go back and look at the 1920s and 30s of this other little country with a guy with a mustache, yeah. it, you know, it's, it's history repeating itself. And that's my concern. I do not want to end up in a world war because of an idiot. I want, right. what I, and well, I've said this on all well, our Well, if, if history is repeating itself, you cannot stop it. Well, that, that, I know that. But my other point is to both of them is you're talking a bunch of BS. You never really tell us anything. Tell me what you're going to do for the poor. What are you going to do for healthcare? Like all I ever hear, it's great for people with money. I'm happy whoever gets in because I don't get affected. I mean, I'll pay less tax. I can do this. I can do that. Sure, you know, kiss whoever's ass I have to kiss. But for the people who can do the uprising, 
the, you know, the, there's 300 million people in America. The just say three, there's 360 million, I guess. So let's just say the 200 and some odd million people that aren't privileged or comfortable. One day they're going to get tired. And when, and I said this on with Guy Standing, you know, when 200 million people want to take a picnic, you can't stop them. And there's 8 billion people on the planet. Let's say a billion people are okay, but there's 7 billion that aren't. When 7 billion people get tired of it, what are you going to do? You know, it's like this so is, either you're going to kill is, everybody or you nuke everybody. So my concern is, is that we're going down a rabbit hole like we did in the 30s. So when he's like, oh, I'll have Ukraine solved in a day. Sure, Russia's going to roll in. What's that do? That creates a world war because now NATO, Poland, and the rest of them now have to defend themselves. To Vicky's point, the South Koreans are terrified because they're afraid if he gets in, Missile Boy is going to do something stupid. China is going to go after Taiwan. Um, you know, right. Japan's probably sitting there going, oh, well, this is fun. You know, so they're probably not going to attack Pearl Harbor again, but it's sort of like, okay, now what's the next step? But so, all of that is extremely complicated for the American public. I know and that. think the most disturbing thing which which he's done now, I think, is he's, he's moved on to this rhetoric of the enemy within. Yes. Yes. And so so it's not it's not about them because because a lot of people don't understand it. Or when they do start to understand, they think, well, you know, you're just talking crap. Right. So he's he's done away with that completely. You don't have to think about that. It's not you. It's not them over there. It's right. the enemy within. within. Right. And you're talking about talking about not uh, having um, comedians, these sort of people, not not being able, they were maybe going to be victimized. Yeah. I heard him last week, or uh, two or three days ago, I was listening to some crap he was talking. Uh, I'm going to ban CBS, and I'm going to ban yeah, this, that. and I'm going to ban that. So, yeah. it, so here wow. we go. It's already that the media is shut down. Don't worry about who's hey. on that media platform. We just shut the whole mother load down. He doesn't like mm -hmm. CBS because they talked. Somebody talked bad about him, and they didn't present him in a yeah. proper way. And so, because yeah. of that, um, he's, he wants to ban them. They are that's my the point. Enemy yeah. within. Right. They're the enemy. That, but that's my point. If you're going to do this, and you're going to make these statements like, "I'm going to get rid of the Department of Justice," or "I'm going to get rid of this," or "I'm going to get rid of that," and you're telling everybody what you're going to do, and everyone's like, "Oh, it can't happen." But what happens if it does? I'm sure when Hitler came to power, people were like it can't happen. But when it did happen, then it's too late. So my question is: so when it does happen, then what are you going to do? So right. I'm just I I wouldn't mind this craziness. Listen, every president's crazy. I don't mind their craziness, and they can spout. But when you're literally telling everybody how you're going to kill democracy and do this other stuff, that's where I worry. And now listen, for all I know, it could be BS. But that's my concern: is that if it's not BS, what happens? Where's it? Where do you go? Like I always joke, we're going to go to Dubai or we'll go here or go there. But at some point, I can't go. You can't go. Like it's still the planet. I'm still stuck on this right. little blue rock. Where do I go? And that's the issue. That's my biggest fear of, of him getting in. Like I said, the Republicans have some excellent policies. The Democrats are just a bunch of morons at this point. They don't say anything. They don't do anything. They're ostriches. And that's Evelyn, or Evelyn now with uh, Camilla not in the lead anymore. She's not saying anything. She's not doing interviews. And Trump at least is out there doing something, right or wrong, he's doing something. And some of the Republican um, policies, I agree with. I'm like, yeah, we should do some of that. But some of them are a little extreme, like these tariff things. I'm like, no, it doesn't work that way. There's other ways to negotiate with a country, but I'm glad he made NATO pay up. I'm glad he made this one. I'm okay with all that, but I don't want you to end democracy. Like if you, like at the end of your four year term and you go, I don't want to leave, what happens? You know what I mean? That's my point in my mind. It's like, okay, so then what happens? Like, you know, you, nobody tried to help the people in, on January 6th. So what happens? Are we all just going to sit by and go, oh, okay, this is our new oligarch. Those yeah. are the concerns I have. Yeah, because That's it, where my, it'll, my concern it'll be is. like, oh, look, look, look what I've done for you. Let's, let's say uh, that right. it's okay. You know, and everything picks up. And, uh, you know, the, 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 eth the, the ethnic is minority... Okay, David. But do you understand the minority okay. in the US? Our stock, our the stock, the our stock market, right, right. But wait a minute, our stock market's at an all time high. Everything yeah. is up and up, and people are inventing things. Our tech sectors are going up. And he's yeah. not president right now. It's, it's, it's under the Democrats. So I think that's just America in general. My concern also is yeah. if he becomes president and starts doing some things, we're going to tank. You know, we may go up for a bit. There may be the Trump spike, but then. When reality sets in, it could be the Trump drop, and that could be very interesting yeah, he, as well. Again, again, Steve, his re his rhetoric is: oh, don't worry I'm... about Wall Street, don't worry about the tech. How much? <laughs> right, how right. much is how much are your groceries? 
how much is gasoline? Yeah. You know, oh, I got that, that. That's that's the problem. And he's talking to a public where they're getting squeezed, you know, and a lot of them are this new ethnic minority in the US, which are white middle, white working class people, mostly male. And they, right. they think, oh, yeah, that's right. I'm feeling all of this. I don't, you know, I, I, we, it needs to change. I need to have a better life. I'm an American. Where's my good life? Right. And they can't see it. They can't feel it. And that's what he's tuned into. And he's been very, very clever, either him or people pulling the strings around him. Right. But uh, right. guys, it's 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 a common uh, uh, knowledge everywhere in the West. We are in decline, and one of the reasons that there yeah. is this kind of choice for uh, this kind of highest ranking, uh, let's say, uh, institution in the West, and it shows it's uh, that it's uh, collapsing in a way. Right. It's in crisis. It's for sure. And on the other hand, you have a different kind of model. But it's not really, it's under the hegemony of China, but it's not Chinese because the Russians or Iranians or North Koreans are there. They are not the same. They are not thinking the same way. There are a bunch of different kind of interested countries in their own interests. Right. But the leader, China, is, has gone a lot of steps now. And uh, it's very flexible, and this kind of model is flexible. You know, dictatorship is is flex more flexible than than, especially now. Uh, why do you have to hide, Vicky? Vicky's in the rain. Oh, Vicky's in the, the rain. This is oh, a new okay. romantic. This is a new romantic not, look. This it's like some French. Movie. It's it's not part of your no, mission, no. It's, it's Vicky's in the rain. You, listen, she's a spy, and she can't get wet. It's in their contracts. Right. If they have a new union okay, now, now as of this well, year, she's hiding. She's hiding yeah, from she's the hiding. She's from, hiding from, from the, the range. secret police. Uh, yeah. so with yeah. them, North, so the North Koreans have said to her, "Vicky, we have to turn the lights off. Go against that wall. No one will know the difference. Yeah. We're good." Well, are you just practicing, Vicky? Have... When they put, are you practicing have... when they put you up against the wall? That might happen. Oh, you say. God. I have to show you that. though. I found it. Yeah. I found a picture of Adam. Ooh. Here. See? Oh. Can you actually see that? Okay. You hear, you hear it? Wait, wait. Yeah, <laughs> red thing. That's a red thing. It's, it's, a, it's me there. There you go. Congratulations. <laughs> Adam's in Korea. I'm, I'm, a, I'm everywhere because I'm an idea. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Every oh my one God. of us is an idea. You're an idea. What do you think you are? You think you are flesh and bones and atoms and protons and electrons? Do you know a funny thing that I've heard about electrons? Some that every every electron that they have measured in the world appears to be the same. And they are thinking that it might be the, the same one electron everywhere, one only one electron in the in the world. Wow, that would explain the absolute, the gateway. CIA yeah, and the, and the and the electron, absolute. the electron has the ability to go back in time, back and forward wow. in time. Tick, 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 and you and you catch it only in the moment when you are present for it. Tick, tick, wow. tick. You see, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I like that. All right. Electrons, and it might be one thing. It might be only one thing. So the whole universe might be governed by one thing only. The absolute. Of course, it the is CIA, the CIA Gateway Project called it. The they knew. Project. They knew it. Vicky yeah, and the great. rest know it. <laughs> yeah, we got Slay. Congratulations. The CIA, the CIA got Adam, something right. <laughs> Adam, don't shout about it too much because Elon Musk will want to get a uh, patent. I was going to say patent on that. I want to patent it. Yeah. I want to patent on the on the one and only electron. Don't it's worry. Called, he'll call it X. X. He's <laughs> he, he's very keen on 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 Trump winning. He's he's gonna yes. get a lot of money. I think from the X especially, because this yes. investment was not need? very good. What, Vicky? How much more money does he need? What, like you know. Oh, do you think there's an end to those those things? No, it's yeah, about no. power. It's not about money. It's about power. Yeah. It's, it's, they, it's, th it's, th there is no end to the power. There's two types of billionaires or people with money. There's the people, there, well, there's more than these two, but there's one who, like, if you will, like a Musk who wants more money, more power, more money, more power. He wants his name to be kind of like Donald Trump, right? My name should be known forever. 
You know, they want to be like the George Washington, the Abe Lincoln, yeah. whoever it might be. Then you get the other ones that are. It's called vanity. Right. They make their money. They, they quietly help the community out. Like, look at Michael Dell, right? Michael Dell helps in Austin, every, Dell Hospital, Dell. This was fine. His name's on some buildings. But, you know, 500 years from now, no one's going to remember Michael Dell. And Michael Dell's okay with that, right? There's billionaires that just want to help the, people and get them to die. Yeah. Yeah. You don't even remember that he's a computer guy. There you go. Yeah. You well, I, I remember, well, we still have to help computers here, but. Uh... Right. But that's my point. So you have the one that's to Adam's point that are the vanity ones that like, I need to be remembered forever and look and look and look and look and history should remember me. And you have the others that are like, I'm here, I'm going to do my thing. And when I go, if no one remembers me, I'm okay. Yeah, but you cannot impose, but still it's vanity because uh, you're dead. What if they remember you or don't remember you? What the fuck? Yeah, well, the good thing is with our show, all the four of us will be remembered Forever. But but yes. it's it's their thinking being alive that oh but I'm gonna be remembered and uh, yeah. you know how they talk about me right now etc. But it's still vanity because right. deep deep down inside he's one the same thing as you are as me are as Vic as everybody. Yeah. Because at the end it's the same stuff. Yeah, with the beginning, with one. the end, going to the toilet, having those uh, emotions oh, and uh, oh, those oh, fears. Missile, and boy, and missile, missile, missile boy does not go to the, the loo. He's made it clear that his family does not have to go poo. So no, yeah. missile boy doesn't poo. So no, good. Uh, I wish him <laughs> good explosion. Explosion. When we hear the explosion, it won't be yeah. any nukes. It will be the the the, the family yeah. exploding one by one. Bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> this is the, the their secret weapon that they have. And this is yes, that's a secret weapon. If you don't have to go to the loo. I wondered. I wonder about this internet thing, right? So, so if there's a possibility without any nuclear flare. Yeah. Or, or some flair that, that, that we could be immortal for, for quite a number of years. Do you right. think that you have people like uh, like Musk or even like Trump going forward that would do it like a, do a Stalin on us and take us all out of history? All the people you like oh, just yeah. run the AI over 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 the YouTube. Anybody yeah. that said anything shitty about him disappears. It will all be all be plus 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 going forward. Well, that would kill Elon Musk's freedom of speech, wouldn't it? Like I said, it's very interesting. It's freedom, yeah, it's freedom of speech of for what you want. It's right. It's freedom, it's freedom of speech of for what I want to say, but not for what somebody else wants to say. So yeah. it's, it's very fascinating. And really, some of the comments that we get, and Vicky is the one who points this out to me every now and then. She'll be like, those people really didn't like what you said. Because I, I will we'll say something about Trump or Harry, whoever. And they're like, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yes, but this is how um, a civilization has a dialogue. You know, and we always invite people to come on. We've invited Mr. Trump on our show. We've invited his people and on our Putin. shows. And Putin. And, 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 and Putin and the rest of them. And we've invited Ms. Harris. None of them yeah. come and the comments are like, oh, your show's too small. Your show's this. That may be true. But our show, in the format it's done, you can talk and for us for whether you want to speak for 15 minutes or five hours to get your point across. And we would ask you intelligent questions. So... You know, so we understand quite that. Nice to Mr. But they have uh, prepared intelligent questions the way they they like it, and they right, uh, and we won't read their questions. They have, have much more. Look, <laughs> look what what we're talking about right now about Elon Musk and Trump and right. stuff like that. It's personas actually. So right. we, we are talking about characters. Soon right. those characters are going to be replaced by AIs anyway, and so uh, in the course of the time, you won't be seeing any person like we are talking right now. We will right. all we be wearing some kind of masks, AI masks. So it will be a total different life, you know, living uh, in the internet, which will be much more uh, used than it's, it's already. We use it a lot, but it'll be even more. Unless we're doing and it now, we don't know it. What do you mean? We're we wearing masks right now? No, no we're, I we're, mean we're the we're digital the AI now. masks. Yeah, we're in the matrix now. We don't even know it. That's what some. Yeah, but we don't problems. control it. But with the AI, we'll think that we might control something. I don't know. Uh, maybe you know the feeling that maybe you control something, but it's just a feeling. You know, it does you don't control anything. Yeah, I actually, just look pretty. I, I just think Vicky keeps pretty looking day. over her shoulder because I think there's a whole, whole lot of guys. Whole lot of guys. Queuing up she's she's hiding oh. from a drone. 
So all these guys are saying, "What are you doing, tucked around the corner there, uh, young lady? It's uh, we got a got a queue up for you, or uh, what's happening?" Yeah, there's a really bad, a really loud um, garbage truck. So I muted myself. I wanted to see you <laughs> behind me. Yeah. So oh, sorry, I'm sorry. I'll be, I, you can call me whatever you like, but don't call me a garbage truck. All right? There you go. You're, <laughs> dump, <laughs> you're, you're a dump truck. You're not a garbage truck. You're a dump truck. Well, you know what's interesting okay. for the people that didn't watch it yesterday. Vicky posted Vicky in her, her IRL, which we're gonna we'll we'll put here in, at the end of the video. Um, Korean baseball game. So, and I I've been to one many years ago, and I've been to one in Japan, and I've done. It. But the Korean ones are great because they have cheerleaders. I remember the first time I ever saw it, the cheerleaders. I was like, seriously, you have cheerleaders at a base? And I watched it again. It just brought back great memories. Um, they sat in the nosebleed seats, which is very cool. So when you look at from their the video and you look at the field, there's some ants running around on the field. Um, thank God for the Jumbotron that showed the game. But it was very good video. So if you've never been to a Korean baseball game and you want to see it, I would check out Vicky's video. It's very cute. And they, oh, uh, oh. In, her team's in the playoff. Do, do they sell hot dogs then? Can you eat a hot no, dog? No, they sell dogs. <laughs> <laughs> they are hot sometimes, yes. <laughs> it depends. If you want with an ice cream, it's a cold yeah. dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, David, dog David and Adam, they're just... David and Adam are determined to get me deported for talking yes. about dogs, I see eating that. dogs on no, the just, channel. Just, you know, I thought that was the great thing. People, people go to to the baseball games. They have a hot dog. I just wanted, you know, because no, such, they, such, such there's a, a convenience oh. store there. Let me tell you something. There's a convenience store you can buy your own it's food. So, the, the beer. It was like you watch this thing and you're like. We should be doing this in America. I mean, like they yeah. really have. You do it in America. America. You're eating the dogs. You're eating the pets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, the, the baseball game, the way they do it is great. And the cheerleaders make it even better. And then they have the mascots. They had four of them, a little Vicky fell. Oh, now they have a little pussycat. And she's like, and I approve of that. And I'm sure the, the <laughs> twins of the Korean baseball team are like, thank God the American chick approves of it. So, you know, it's kind of very cool. But yeah, so it, it was a very cool maybe video. Maybe after they're finished eating all the dogs and the cats, they can eat the cheerleaders. And oh, well, Adam. That's, what a whole nother, that's a whole other story. If cheerleaders. He's, 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 all, he's, he's all left field now. When I look at it. Adam, you okay there? Adam? Adam, well. yeah. It looks like he's trying to be like me. He's What's going on? Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. There you have it. Wow. What, what happened? What happened? I, I pressed something because I want to make it the full oh. screen, but I cannot. Well, you've you, been you censored. made it some screen. You've been, censored. So, you've been yeah. censored. Welcome to live. Yeah, well, you've been censored by the uh, the Greek police <laughs> the because North they don't Korean. want you to talk about dogs and cats. Vicky, yeah. what's the time right now there? Because it looks like it's midnight or something. What what the time? Eleven o'clock. It's ten twenty p.m. Ten twenty. Ah, ten twenty. Yeah. yeah. Vicky's got five or six more hours to go. She's a wild girl. She's ready. This is like her <laughs> best time now. So. She'll be yeah. standing there for the next four hours. <laughs> so Vicky, what are you? Yeah. She's like, hey, she's like, hey, sailor, want to buy me a drink? Um, so, oh. Vicky, so what are you going to do now? So it's ten thirty at night in Korea. I know if you go to your apartment, you can't breathe um, because if you do, that's too loud. They're like, you can't walk yeah. around, you can't do this. So what do you do now at ten thirty at night in Korea? I, I feel bad because this is out of show. I don't want to hijack it and talk all That's about it. Okay. No, talk. It's interesting. That's why, yeah. <laughs> we never had anyone from Korea yeah. in the show. North or South. Okay. So, <laughs> what am I going to do now? Um, yeah. I'll go home and probably just work. <laughs> okay. Do you work? That was, not a, that was not a sexy answer, was it? No, I'll just... Uh, it's Monday night, so Saturday night I went on TikTok Live and I walked up and down Hongdae, which is like the student area where they do the busking and stuff like that. There's a magic show, and right, right. But there's nothing going on Monday night. Monday night's pretty dark here because they've been working all weekend, so most things are closed. So okay, but um, yeah, everything's still lit up. You can see. And yeah, if it wasn't beautiful. raining, I could walk down to the park. Like I. Can walk uh, in the park at ten o'clock at night by myself as a woman and not get um, stabbed, robbed, or kidnapped, wow. if any of the above. Um, oh, you mean so all and, the fun things that you do in America? <laughs> That's a lot of stuff <laughs> off your wish list, gone then, by the sound of it. <laughs> what, what, what is it? What, what's it called? The place you are, what you are now? You're in Seoul. Yes. I so You said that very well, Adam. You said it just like a, a Korean. Oh, wow. Ah, you didn't know that I'm one quarter Korean? 
Hey, you're going to be making Korea now for the Korean girls. Okay. Hey. Look, I have one one quarter Greek, one quarter Polish, one quarter uh, Lithuanian, and I, I have one quarter which plays. Sometimes it's Korean, sometimes it's Jewish, sometimes it depends. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a free space. It's a free play. Yes. It can be whatever that it's, quarter you want. Yeah, it's balladeur. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a three play for people who can't afford a four. Can't afford but it's a, it's a very big city, yeah, very big city. So it's beautiful. Um, the um, metro area, so in China and so I think is Stephen. Google me. I think is it thirteen million now? What is the metro area? I'm not sure. It's Seoul? somewhere around there, ten million. Yeah, not out. not full metro. But the buildings are not very big, are they? Because I mean, like your head's halfway through. But, uh, but Stephen, I I oh, just right. measured, you know, on Google Maps, yeah, yeah, a line, a line, a straight line from where she is, somewhere in the center, to the right. border of North North Korea. How much is it? <laughs> it's only forty two kilometers. Forty two wow. kilometers. So that's what it's you a call. Quick ride. So that's that's like that's, that's like. 30 miles that's nothing yes 30 miles 30 miles wow. it's very close Amazing. to the borders so to that's why they question, launched the poop alone the metropolitan Sorry. area in seoul korea is 10 million five thousand however okay. the population of seoul in general is 26 million so there you go because it's uh, in incheon incheon close yeah, 40, for the wow, 40, 42 kilometers is nothing because that's, yeah. wow, that's right up the and street. I'm, and I'm saying from the center, right? From the yeah. center of... Uh, yeah, yeah. So they could throw, it's throw a grenade at you for that distance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you that's know. That's crazy. Right knowing you. <laughs> yeah, well, it's good. Well, it's good. Like David said, you get to go first. Hey, so are you going to go to the uh, like the final baseball game or is that was that the last game you're going to this this season? That was the last game I was going to because my team lost the next one, so we are now out. Oh, okay. Losers. So uh, well, it's the final the now, the World Series or the Korean gotcha. Series. So um, the, the I don't care. The pussycat mascot didn't home. help. The pussycat mascot no, didn't help. <laughs> I helped. I was there. And then the next game, I wasn't there. there. We but, uh, we watched. Yeah. Very but cool. now I'll be. Um, there's a bunch of like. Um, Fall festivals now. So there's like a Silvergrass festival. And there's all kinds of free stuff. All the museums are doing stuff. Um, so I'll be going to a lot of those things. I think this Friday night I have a free um, art exhibition and concert. I think I'm wow. Do. So yeah, it's good because I'm poor. I don't have any money for anything. And everything is free. So that's <laughs> it's like most people. Yeah, so very cool. And are you looking for the plastic surgery husband now? Is that what you're there for? Are you looking for the husband? Is that why you're in Korea? So we can like, you know. To train her into a Korean girl. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. I, I, uh, I'm I too Polish. And what I mean by that is that um, I'm, I'm too curvy, big, I guess, uh, for okay. most Korean men, probably. So, really? Yeah, I know. I'm just here doing my best single life. Hey, cool. I, I think they like her this way. No, no. Do they like curvy women? <laughs> they don't like curvy women. No. I think they like. No. It's, she's no. there. She's saying they don't like. Yeah. I think well, she's imagining. Frank Zappa say that uh, yeah, the bigger the cushion, Maybe the better the cushion. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, now we're quoting Frank Zappa on this show. That's there okay. Go. Well, hey, <laughs> And Dawn said 26 million people, wow, and you can walk in the middle of the night now to a park. I mean, like when I lived in New York, when the when it's nighttime, you don't go to Central Park. You don't really go there right. during the day. But you're like, you don't go. Right? So <laughs> here, yeah, I heard the day. But Why? Is it like, so dangerous? Is it that dangerous? Now, it's a lot better. But at nighttime, you still wouldn't walk through Central Park. Um, yeah, because there's there's people. Things go bump oh, in the night. Oh, so we found something back in the day that it wasn't good. There's a lot of things back in the day. That <laughs> oh, really? That's that's our, our next topic. What was okay. bad back in the day? <laughs> oh, that's next week's topic. What was bad back in the day? I like it. That'll be a good topic. That's a good one. 
<laughs> only negative things. Only negative oh, no. things of the of the of the uh, back in the day. Let's just start <laughs> off with a good dose of bubonic plague and work our way upwards from that. I think. There you oh, go. Geez. It's not. It's not stuff when you were alive, David. Like uh, you know, it's more recent history. Not. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, bubonic plague, it, uh, it it got us down as homo sapiens to about 10%. Uh, I mean, we just had a plague. Totally, about... totally devastated us. We were, we, were, we were nearly wiped out. Very so, cool. Um, so, Vicky, before we let you go, because, you know, the, the North Koreans just sent us a little message that said we have to start turning off the power because we can't afford it. <laughs> Anything interesting coming up in Vicky IRL this week that you're going to be showing the fans other than cheerleaders? So <laughs> anyway, I feel bad now. I would have shot more cheerleaders for you if I had known that that was, that was your thing. Sorry. No, it wasn't. Uh, what well, cheerleaders? So if you go to Vicky, I'll send you the link. But Vicky did a show yesterday, and she showed the cheerleaders at the baseball game. And I said to her in a text, I texted her, go, that's great. Loved it. Watched the whole thing. I said, next time, more cheerleaders. And she's like, really? And I go, the cheerleaders alone will get you 5 to 10 million views. Because if you go on Instagram or YouTube, any Korean cheerleader doing uh, 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 gets you tons and tons of views. And I was like, we're view And it's, it's a mystery. I mean, Nobody knows. Yeah, well, yeah, because yeah, the guy who wrote the algorithm was from Korea. Probably. <laughs> I've heard that they I'm just, are. I'm just, wonder, I'm just wondering if we're going to get 10 or, 10 or 5 or 10 million with Steve doing this. Well, sure. Who uh, I think it's that uh, it will start from ten to uh, fifteen thousand millions. Yeah, it yeah, will yeah, start. Yeah. <laughs> then people will be paying us not to. Please don't do that again. Every no, second will be like ten more millions. Yeah, please don't do that again. No, please have five dollars. So, go away. Yeah, well, please don't have them come back. So, Vicky, what were you going to say about the cheerleaders? That you hear what now? Oh, I, I've heard that they are um, K-pop trainees that either didn't quite make oh. it into a girl group or are still in training for. So that makes okay. a lot of sense. Right? So, just, like, just truck up. And say but they get paid a lot of money. I, I heard. For the show. Don't they get paid a lot of money to be cheerleaders? No, I mean they get paid more than like the DCC gets paid, which is nothing, pretty much. Um, you see how much they get paid. You go ahead. But they don't get. I mean, the baseball players don't get paid that much. Like, okay. They, I think the, the league minimum here for a baseball player in the KBO is not much. Like their stars make maybe five hundred thousand. There's a top oh, no, 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 of a million. Yeah, it's not. They don't make much. The KBO doesn't make that much money. It actually pretty much loses money, and it's sponsored by the the corporations that own the teams. Pretty much. Eat so. The cost just so you guys are aware that Korean cheerleaders get paid um, anywhere from 25 million to 30 million won. So calm down. So that is 22,000, Yeah. Five to six years into their career. So they make Sorry. about, we'll say $30,000 um, a year being a cheerleader. That's not bad for doing this. Yeah. That's like year yeah. six, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did you say five or six years in their career? Into, so. Yeah. 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 But then and twenty five thousand won is twenty thousand. You know, and they're probably yeah. doing it for. The yeah, like I mean, like, like the Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders make nothing. They make a couple thousand, and then they have to pay for less oh, than dollars. Don't they get like fifteen? Don't they get like fifteen dollars a game? Hold on, Dallas Cowboy. Let's look at the Dallas Cowboy. They're getting they get getting more now because people are oh. to think about it. But for a long time, they, they made. Are they not on nothing. TV every week? And every time I turn it on, is Dallas. Uh, okay, so the Dallas, here you guys go. The, here's what the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders, Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders make around $500 per game. They also make around $15 to $20 per hour for practices. Um, it says their yearly salary can add up to $75,000 a year. That the average cheerleader in the NFL makes $22,500, just as much as the cheerleaders in Korea, just FYI. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they're not on That's national crazy. TV, and they're not spending all their own yeah. money on their own hair, makeup, lessons, right, right. workout, all that. Stuff. I have to do the same. So, what are they bitching yeah. about? 
I know, David, yeah. you're looking good since the plastic surgery, I have to say. It's, it's, yeah. it's done wonder. Oh, no. Oh, no. And I can tell you, okay. AI is working wonderfully because it, to have Vicky and David on the same screen, <laughs> there's a lot of AI going on here. Yeah. So. You know, so they said it's like the Superman thing where we can't be in the same place at the same time because we're really the same yeah. person. But, well, this, but is really. this is pre recorded, so, uh, you know. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's night out. here, so it's not even the same time of day. There you go. Yeah. Well, we don't know. We, we David's not showing us the outside. Adam's engrossed in like watching porn or something on the internet. So that's okay. no. I'm watching yeah, the I'm Google so Google Maps. I'm I'm watching Google uh, Maps and uh, yeah. the Is that what, Seoul. They're called now Korean uh, cheerleaders. They're now called Google. No, Maps. I was. Yeah, you want me to so, walk yeah. around a little? Adam's looking at the Google Maps for where you are. Oh, we lost Vicky <laughs> oh, first. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. I was trying to turn the camera around. How do I do that? Let's see. Very careful. Uh, settings, camera, front camera. Oh, I can do a dual camera, right? Okay. I guess. Let's find out. Yeah, we don't know. Maybe I can. Let's see. Adam's just like work? fascinated. He's checking. Oh, there you go. Oh, see before. Okay. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. It's not a dual, yeah. but. Yeah. It's fine. This I'll is Korea. Well, here, let's do this. So, um, if she's going to take us on a tour of Korea, let's take up the tour of Korea. Yeah. All right. So, what are we looking at here, Vicky? These are, uh, can you hear me still? Yes. Yeah. yeah. These Korean are just buses. apartment buildings. Apartment okay. buildings. This is, if you guys remember last time I was here, this is yes. the apartment that caught fire at 3 a.m. that I got evacuated from. I don't live here anymore. Okay. <laughs> this is not my building. So don't come here, you on fire. That's what happens when you but, start um, on fire. They don't invite you back. Uh, a Tesla was charging in the basement, and it caught on fire. And wow. we were evacuated at 3 a.m. And I was standing out here in my jammies um, at nice. 3 o'clock in the morning in the winter. Do we have if you do we have video. film of that? That would be nice. I can let it be. Yeah. Where's the, where you are you in your jams? <laughs> I have jams. it. Where's my Lexus bus? You know, we'll put all the pretty alive right for the time. And Monday. Is that the self-driving bus that you what you called that you took? No, that was the autonomous bus that has no driver. This was just an okay. electric bus. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So, so this is your little neighborhood. Look at this, everybody. Little 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 oh, look at that a bus stop. Never seen one of those yeah. before. <laughs> yeah, it's all over there at all. You know, I will say it's very clean. Look how clean it is in Korea. Oh yeah, super. Oh, yeah, well, it's Korea. It has to be. You know, it's not your dirty bus stops. So there's yeah. a, is that zoom in or is it just me? I guess I can't zoom in. At the yeah. top of this building was a garden right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Okay. No, it's dark. It's dark. It's dark. It's dark. can't see the you tree. We have, have to have a really long rake to get up there then for the street. I must stop here. <laughs> yeah. Look, and there's people walking. Yeah, a lot of people for that time and for Monday, for Monday mm. night. That's yeah. nice. Monday night, this is the, all the buses. There's a long, like, bus. Oh, these girls are really yeah, we got well, some fight. Oh, yeah, you fight. Live on America TV, and you want to do an interview with them. <laughs> yeah. You, uh, the, uh, the little this like, red this? Down here. Oh, this is the district. All right, we need to shows. Wait, wait. This is the. Red light <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you got it. it. Make a print screen. She let it for you to make a print screen. Yeah. <laughs> here you go. What's this? Another prank scene. Blue. Blue. <laughs> it's what do you where you want to go to go. Gotcha. <laughs> this is very cool. Look this at this. this is like... Whatever you want. Oh, this is not very dirty. Very uh, yeah. clean. No, it's not. That's a little dirty. But it's still safe. Yeah. She, it's like ten thirty at night, and she's walking through. But did you see the other oh, one with a gun? Did you see yeah. the other one with a gun? No. Do you see those guys there? The terrorists. Yeah. You see no, them? I don't see the, I don't see the terrorists. Uh, <laughs> on a no, Monday you night. Don't see, uh, did you see? Did you see the girl? She looks yeah. suspicious. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. The guys they're too they're too too unstressed. That's that smells bad. Is that to be a story? That's and it's still open. That's amazing. What AI do you use, Vicky? Uh -huh. <laughs> What's the North well, Koreans using crazy. to show AI? Oh look, you can Got go fishing. This? Yes, yeah, they eat oh, your it's legs. It's a swimming pool, is it not? If, um, yes, they eat your legs. If yeah. you don't need oh, legs anymore, gonna... you put them there. Look, he didn't need Very his cool. legs. Now, Vicky, will you buy any of those and cook? <laughs> are you going to buy any of that and cook it, or are you just are you eating out a lot or just having? They cook it for you. 
Oh, okay, okay but it's, 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 it's that late and there are so many things open that I like that. Oh, it's yeah. like Greece. And it's not even a weeknight. Like, I yeah, be able to it's Monday. Down. It's the worst. Can I, also, can I tell you, it, it's amazing. There's a lot of Korean people there. I'm just really. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't see any Steven, <laughs> and I'm worried. You know, there's a lot of Koreans. No, very cool. Oh, look, well, the purple well, section of town. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, it's very it's, nice. Um, oh. Oh, we lost a little, a little in and out there. But all right, very no. cool. Well, Vicky, oh, this is a I, nice little neighborhood. Yeah. We that feel very cool. safe. Oh, look, always disco. There you go. We feel very safe with you there. The Funky yeah. Club. That's the where we're going, club. boys and girls. The Funky yeah, Club of Korea. Yes. Korea. <laughs> <laughs> it's where you want to go. It's where you want to so be. Where where everybody knows your it's name. The Funky Club. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> That's very really cool. What do we have here? Over here. You must see some pasta food. Uh, no, uh, uh, oh, some, some sweets. Oh, and it's open. This is some it's pasta. open. Wow. Well, we know we're Vicky will be ending the show. We know we're Vicky ending the show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping to find a street cat that I could shoot for you, but oh, you want to see an American flag? Yeah. Can you see it? Oh Why yeah, there it is. Up there by the building. Tree. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, there's an American bar there. Okay. Nice. Very um, cool. Very nice. Well, this is like this is excellent. We got the Korean tour. All the places are open. It reminds me of New York yeah. City, but cleaner. Exactly. And no, home, exactly. And no homeless guy yelling that he's going to kill you with a samurai sword. <laughs> right. So. That I have to yeah worry about being uh, and eating fun. the pets. Yeah. <laughs> eating there, right? Other than eating the dogs and the cats, we're fine. Don't worry about that. But she's in North Korea, so it's good. I like I like yeah. the way that they've got this Hollywood set Hollywood set up for her in North Korea. That but tell me, is is this is this is this building re really red or it's light red? Uh, it's light. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Light. Very nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like it. it Let me off whenever you want. No, 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 listen. I mean, you know, I can hear. I can just even try to wrap it up, so I don't want to keep no, going with you. Uh, we can. Well, we can wrap it up because you'll be back next week, and you could you can do it from wherever you want to do. It. I think for us, it's fascinating just to see it because we're not there, and I think some of the fans will enjoy it too because I think the fans are going to be um, like, "Wow, this is really cool." Because the fans are not there too. Yeah, and fans want to see it too. <laughs> And then they can watch Vicky's baseball in Korea too, as well. But I mean, if you think yeah. about it, it's ten thirty on a Monday night. The streets are safe. Here's Vicky, a single woman walking around, um, looking for a husband, and no one's accosting her. <laughs> so I think that's that's excellent. I mean, no one's even paying attention to her. So. A bad thing. I mean, yeah, I need to be accosted. Come on now. Yeah, yeah she's trying to get accosted. It's just not happening. Um, but yeah, but I mean, look at it. It's just beautiful and safe. I mean, you uh, kudos to the Koreans for keeping a beautiful, safe city. Yeah. So, yeah. Good for them. Nice. Good for them. Now we don't have to worry about Vicky because we know Vicky will be okay. <laughs> I'm trying to turn the camera around, but I don't know if I'm capable. Well, let's see if you can do it. Let's see if you can do it. Come on, Vicky. You can do it. You can dare. Oh, no. Oh, I have seen it. Nope, nope. There we go. Oh, oh there's a car. I don't to, really want to die. Yeah, don't die. Hold on. Well, if you do it on air, though, it's high for ratings. So we're good. So, <laughs> well, that was. Okay, there, so for, there you are. Yeah, Vicky's back. Vicky, thank you so much. That was awesome. Hopefully, you can join us next week and it won't be raining. Yeah, it stopped raining just now. So I was able to walk around. So that was cool. Yeah. It looked really, it looked really good. Well, thank you for doing that. And we're going to let you walk without getting hit by anything. And we will see you next Monday. Everybody, don't forget Vicky IRL. We'll put the link here so you can see her baseball game. And we will see Vicky next week. And guys, it's always a pleasure to see Thanks, you both. Adam. We will see everybody next bye week. Bye. And Adam, next week we're going to talk about. Bye -bye. What Have a good time, of, Vicky in what Korea. Was, what's, 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 what are we doing next week? The worst of whatever? What was the topic? The, the things that weren't worth better back then. Things no, that were worried about. Okay, back then. Okay, that's what we'll do yeah. next week. Well, it was worried back then. Vicky's fans, are yelling, Vicky's fans want her. I know. All right, guys. I'm going to say, I'm getting her on. Thank you for watching. We'll see everybody next week. Cheers, everybody. Bye. Bye.